Well hello good people, I am Phil and this is your first tutorial video about learning PHP 7 actually. And in this part we are going to install XAMPP under Linux and Windows. I myself like, uh, like to use Ubuntu all the time, but uh, I will also show you for Windows users, which may be many people of you, how to install a local server. So let's start. Why would you start and install a server at all? Well, for PHP, which stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor, which is a scripting language of the web, for this language or scripting language, you need a server because it entirely works on the server. Unlike JavaScript, for example, which works on the client's internet browser like Chrome or Firefox, you can see here, I found this picture, very helpful, I, I find it, and it works on the server and then it gets all the information that you need, but you cannot work it on your browser. So, for testing purposes, we will start with XAMPP because most people use it, it's easy to use and we don't need a lot here, we just need the server and PHP installed. So let's get started with the download. Go to apachefriends.org and under the download section. Here you go. You find all the versions that you have for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS. So choose the one that you need right now, Con uh, with the, which works with the operating system that you use. In my case, I use this one, it's 64 bits, they all are for Linux. And of course, I want, want the newest version here. You can also use version uh, 5 of PHP, but I don't see the point in that. And this um, tutorial is for PHP 7, so we take the latest version. If you have Windows, click on this one for 32 bits. If you have Linux, click on this one. Then, when you downloaded it, of course I did it before, just to um, save us some time here. For Windows users, I found this picture here, very helpful. You download it, you click on it, it gets installed, like any program on Windows, and then you have this control panel. And when you are on this control panel, you click on start, well, here it shows stop because it's already started, but you click on start for the Apache uh, module and the MySQL, which is the database that runs in the background because PHP needs a database most of the times. So I'd suggest you just start the Apache web server and the MySQL database both. On Linux, it is a little bit different First of all, when you download the package and install it, you don't have this control panel. Well, you might, but I'm a big fan of using the command line. So this is the thing that you need to start both of it. It's sudo opt lamp lamp start. This is the path where XAMPP gets installed. So let's copy that. I already did that for you. Put it in press enter, then you need your password, put your password in, hit enter, here we go, that's it. Now we have a local web server working. Windows users just click on the buttons, Linux users just type in this after the installation of XAMPP and then here we go. Now we have a local server running, like it says, my SQL database works like a charm too, we'll test that later. So. What do we do next? Well, I will show you on the picture what we did now. This is the client, this is you, you're sitting in front of your computer, you have a web server running right now, of course it's not a machine, it's just on your local machine, so this web server actually works on your computer and you have PHP installed, because that's what installing XM does auto automatically, which is why we had to choose between the versions of PHP 7 or PHP 5. You get it? Because that it's a whole package. XAMPP is not just the server or just the language. It's a all-in-one package for the PHP version, for the MySQL database and for the web server. 
All right, let's get started. What else do you need? We have exempt now. Well, next you need a text editor. Can be anything from Notepad++ up to Atom or Sublime Text, which are two of the most widely used text editors, just because they have so many functions that are useful. For our purposes, I would just recommend you using Sublime Text because it's fairly easy to use, it looks good and it just does the job. But on the other hand, it's up to you. Take any text editor you like, which has some kind of auto completion module. So Notepad++, Adem or Sublime Text. There's also brackets and all kinds of stuff. If you put in web editor, uh, web editor, text editor, uh, for web developers, if you put that in Google, you'll find a ton of things. All right, let's start with this one. First thing we do, we erase this, make it a little smaller again, and we have a web browser on the right. So, right now, first thing you do is you start to put in localhost and then the name of the PHP file you just create. You didn't create that yet, so let's do this. In my case, I went on File, New File, and I had a new untitled file here. Next thing you want to do is, you want to save this file as, and then, then this is crucial, you have to put it in a specific folder of XAMPP. So, you give it a name, like in my case, I put start.php. You can put anything you like. Only thing that is important here is that you call it .php because it is a PHP file. Then here you already see the path, but let's let's start over and go to the main area here in my computer. Um, the path and the folder is called htdocs. So, on Windows, the names of the folders obviously are not the same. On Windows, you find it under Programs um, and then I think the path is Programs or Programs X64, then under XAMPP, then under HTDocs. HTDocs is the folder that we need right now. All right, so let's skip ahead. Save as start PHP or whatever you want to call it. And Linux users go under the folder opt, opt, double click. Then you have a folder called lamp with two P, double click on that. And here you go, htdocs is the folder that you're gonna need. Go in there. And this is the path where you save your PHP file. I don't do that because I already did. You, you hit save and here we go. No, nope, we don't want to save that. Start PHP. Here you see the path again. Up top, opt, lamp, htdocs, start. All right. So when your fi file is being in the htdocs folder that means that it gets compiled and that you can look it up in your web browser so open a web browser put localhost slash start.php hit enter there's nothing there well surprise we don't have not anything in our file so first thing we do first line we open this bracket we put question mark php hit enter next line and now we have to print out something because it doesn't work. Um, if you don't print anything out, obviously we're not gonna see anything in our browser. So when you wanna print out something to the browser, you put echo and then you put in anything that you want as a string like this. You put those signs and then you put the welcome uh, welcome, sorry. Hello world. This is the first thing that anybody prints out who starts programming and then a semicolon. Hit Control S to save that. 
refresh your browser there we go welcome <laughs> welcome world hello world well congrats that's the first thing that you ever did in PHP so echo hello world tells the browser to print out hello world here we go I hope this was helpful for you if I um, left out anything important or if you have further questions don't hesitate to put them in the comments um, if you found it helpful please bear with me and uh, I wish you a good day and see you in the next tutorial.